Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Litecoin. Right now we're at $68.08. We're down 1.73%. And first of all, I want to point out it's September 13th, 2019 at 6.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So we're about one hour away from the close where I'm at here, guys. And what's happening is we're coming up on some key areas here. And what's happening is we're dealing with a potential breakdown through the 50-week moving average. And with that 50-week moving average, we've been up above it ever since April 1st guys so it would be significant if we start having candle closes below it so we're really gonna have to watch the weekly close here coming up and also what I wanted to point out to you as well is what we're looking at guys here in orange this is our 12 week EMA and it's crossing down through our 26 week EMA right now and that's at eighty three dollars and sixty five cents and it's important to watch these crosses you can see back here when we had the crosses to the positive side we really ran hard after that so I want you to pay attention to this because now we're getting trapped in between this 50 week and this 12 and this 26 and we're also having that bearish cross to them so that's something I really want you to keep on your radar and look for the weekly close to see if we stay up above this 50 week or if we start breaking down below that if we break down below that I'm gonna start looking at about forty eight dollars and twelve cents and then ultimately guys you know there's gonna be some smaller areas but in terms of just looking at the macro there the next support level we look at is that twenty three dollars now what's happening though and I wanted to point this out to you we're sitting directly on top of this 0 0.618 on the one week as well so if we pull our Fibonacci and we'll put in yellow here just to show you right now we're having that battle with that 50 week directly with that 0 0.618 so that's why I'm saying it's important that we hold that and we see some type of bounce off this otherwise guys we could start heading down to that 0 0.786 and that's also going to correlate around that 48 or 50 dollar range which might be a great buying opportunity who knows but I just wanted to point out to you that right now these moving averages are down they're pushing down on us and all we have for support right now is that 50 week moving average Next thing I wanted to point out to you were a few indicators. And with our indicators, I wanted to first go to our stochastic RSI. So this is something that we're looking at. It's a faster moving oscillator. And the fact that we are in greatly oversold territory, and it looks like we're potentially having a little bit of a bullish cross there, it makes me look maybe this 50 week is an area that we can find some support. And remember, guys, what you always have to do is have a plan for the upside as well as the downside. You can't predict exactly where the market's going to go next, but you have a plan and say, okay, if it starts to break up to this moving average or this resistance level, here's what I'm going to do. Or if it starts breaking down to here, these are potentially good buying areas. That's what you want to look for. And remember, I'm not your financial advisor but you want to look for great opportunities here also I want to point out volume is decreasing here which happens a lot on that retracement or correction because this now guys is almost turning into an intermediate term downtrend it's been a short term downtrend and now it's almost turning into the length of that intermediate once you hit that three months so we're getting closer to that point so I want to point that out first on the stock the next one I want to point out was our traditional relative strength index with our relative strength index we're at 42 right now we've been as low as 28 before so we can always get pushed lower and guys if we were to get pushed lower and we were to come down here and maybe hit that 28 it would probably correlate again with that 50 dollar mark that really could be a hot spot that i'm going to be keeping my eye on here next one i wanted to point out was our macd and with our MACD, we had our bearish cross, and always look for these things, especially on the weekly chart, guys. So our bearish cross happened right here with this very powerful long day candle there. And you can see how we had the cross, and now what it's looking like is our histograms trying to tick to about neutral or a little bit getting into that you know neutral range, and then hopefully we can start ticking over into that positive range. That's what we're looking at there. But you know, guys, the simple fact that we're correlating with this 50 week and this 0 0.618 Fibonacci, that's something you really want to put on your radar. And a lot of times, if we are to bounce from this area, just to give you a little target here, say we already get a bounce to the upside off the 0 0.618, we would look up to that 0 0.382, which potentially could be $100, which would also be pretty strong resistance there. And we'd have to get through these moving averages, this 12-week and this 26-week EMAs as well to start getting back up through those. But these are things I wanted to point out, guys. We're just sitting on really key, crucial areas right now, and this is where we have to watch it. You know, Litecoin really can make a move whenever Bitcoin makes a move, and Bitcoin's been just in that consolidation pattern for quite a while now, over two months. So we're just really waiting to see which direction Bitcoin's going to break, and then most 
most likely Litecoin is going to follow that, guys. And I also wanted to point out just, you know, for historical facts, it's always good to look back on things. So when you see these guys, do you see this is a textbook perfect doji at the top here? And it's amazing how if we throw back on your indicators, take a look at this with the stock RSI. So do you see you had this doji candle here? as we were starting to get this downward cross in our stochastic RSI. So that would have been the time to get out there. And even if we waited till the next week, we had confirmation that's a powerful candle to the downside there. And that also would have been another time to say, okay, as we started to fall in the stochastic. So these are things that you want to look for, guys. Candlestick patterns with those stochastic crosses, either to the downside or to the upside. Look at key support areas, trend lines, all that type of stuff. But that's what I'm looking for, at least. And I just wanted to put this on your radar, guys. God bless. Take care. Have a great Friday night. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell.